Hey yo, what up? It's time for a Healthy Visions video. Today we've got Dre, and we've got Shane, and we've got Master Tim coming at you. And the question for discussion with this video is, can you fix a bad relationship without needing to break up first? What do you guys think? I say yes. I say, I say yes. I say yeah, I guess. Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Dre. Well, I look at it this way. <clears throat> a relationship, it takes two. And so as long as you all are working together to get through the process, then absolutely, then it should be done. Because whenever you're trying to bring two people together on any matter, you think about team sports, you think about projects, you think about coworkers, you think about classmates, friendships, all of those things run into disagreements and complications. And a relationship is no different. Um, in that capacity. So I think that if you both can do it together, then absolutely. I agree with that, I think. Yeah. I absolutely agree with that. I think the key thing to remember is clear communication, Definitely. making sure that that's a two way street. Because I think a lot of times people assume that it's a one sided problem. And so they think, well, that person needs to change or they need to work on it. But really, it's both people need to be communicating together, having those clear expectations with one another, setting those boundaries and making sure that they're both willing to work and to make compromise, not necessarily to completely blow your standards out of the water or anything, but kind of being able to come to middle ground and meet each other in the in the center. Yeah, no relationship is perfect. I mean, stuff's going to come up. People are going to get in fights. That's all normal. That's true. I mean, you know, if I had a dollar for every time I got in a fight with my boyfriend, I'd be very wealthy. I wouldn't have to do this job. So you're saying like fighting is the key to having a good relationship? I'm not saying fighting is the key to having a good relationship, but I'm saying that human beings are going to disagree on, thing, on things. Wow, I can't speak. Oh, uh, okay. But <laughs> people will fight. People get in arguments. That's normal. However... When that becomes the norm, if that's all you do in your relationship, you yeah. know, that's not good. And you have to kind of feel that out for yourselves. Every relationship is different. You know, I, we, they also go through phases, I think. But you can bring that back from a more negative place. And that's completely doable. I you know probably people have done in their own lives. Yeah, I've been there, done that. <laughs> I mean, sometimes breaking up is the best option. Uh, the woman that I have been married to for four years now, uh, we dated on and off through high school and had lots and lots of issues to work through. We were very immature, uh, had a lot of jealousy issues between us and that affected our relationship to the point that we couldn't even have a healthy friendship even when we tried. And so for us, not only breaking up, but we even had to completely sever any kind of communication that we had. Um, and that lasted for about a year and a half and we ended up being able to come back together and obviously, <laughs> A lot different perspective on life by that point and um, our relationship has been better since obviously because we're married we have a child together now so it is possible to bring it back from uh, a negative place uh, and sometimes breaking up is the best thing to do and severing that tie even though it can be hard yeah I mean at the end of the day you have to realize there's two people right like and you're both maturing and you're both evolving as individuals as well as if you're in a relationship together. And, and like you said, Tim, I think it does come down to that. When you guys were separated during that time, that evolution continued as individuals to the point where you guys were able to realize like, wow, uh, these are things that I can now uh, bring to the table or not have to focus on uh, personally myself. And I can actually now bring, come into a relationship and uh, be unified with a person and not just be uh, overwhelmed. And so a lot of times in uh, relationships, especially um, in high school, again, there are so many pressures and challenges uh, that come your way and you're not ready for them um, and to have another person that you have to please. And so I think that's really great. Uh, I have a very similar story to Tim. Me and my wife have been married now going on four years and we definitely went through uh, makeups and breakups and uh, evolved as individuals um first before we're able to come back together um for the long haul i hope that's been helpful somewhat helpful at least you now know how we feel about it uh we'll see you next week hashtag hv <laughs>